Yung na start is half a day. Tinaan ng Universidad Guahan, kantoro do sa profesor, administrador, empleado ng mga magres ng Board of Regents, the Universidad Mizo, who extended on send dongkulo na yon na bueno para todos hamzo ni mga nagdua pa ako na haari, yan sinis Pascua, yan magos no si bueno para todos hamzo yan ni familia Mizo. Distinguished guests. Honorable members of the faculty and university community, special guests here on the platform with me, including the Board of Regents, academic leadership, Pavlina Fostakova, the class valedictorian, our commencement speaker, distinguished educator and imaginer of the past, Dr. Larry Cunningham. This is the season for both the celebration of completed educational projects in the form of degrees awarded, and it coincides with the holiday season, Christmas for most of us. But we must acknowledge that there are other holidays as well during this time of the year. We're now in the middle of Hanukkah and the lighting of the menorah. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. The lighting of the menorah is supposed to symbolize how one day of oil lasted for eight days. This is the kind of miracle the government of Guam expects us to do on a daily basis with the appropriation and allocations that the University of Guam receives. Makes them last a lot longer than they can. I think I'm going to speak to one of the newly elected senators about this. And it's also the kind of miracle that you and your families, graduates, went through as you figured out how to get your degree and you are now here. Most of us are familiar with Nubena Ninos or Christmas trees or Belens. And in today's instant media world, we are blasted by information about Black Fridays and Cyber Mondays and an endless run of Christmas sales trying to fool us into thinking what we know to be false, that things are actually cheaper now than they will be after Christmas. The good news for you is that the value of your UOG degree is high today and will even be higher after Christmas. And World News is also reminding us about sometimes tragic and sometimes trivial important news. Hackers from a nation to the north on the Korean Peninsula have apparently intimidated Sony into canceling a movie few of us ever heard of before. But now we're all eager to watch. And we're mad that we're not going to be able to see it on Christmas Day. The movie is called The Interview. It isn't about the interviews that the graduates will be having in a few days or perhaps having over the next few weeks. It is about a farcical plot to kill Kim Jong-un. I hope he doesn't hack into my email. The interviews that the graduates will be engaged in are real. And while they will not be happening on Christmas Day, they will be filled with the nervousness, joy, aspiration, and inspiration that this holiday usually brings. And you will be ready because you are graduates of the University of Guam. Researchers will likely be concluding at the end of the year that this month, December 2014, will be the warmest December ever in human recorded history. Deniers will tell us that there may have been warmer Decembers in the past, but we weren't just around to record it. But if you're a University of Guam graduate, you advance your arguments and knowledge on the basis of evidence, not speculation. Leave the speculation to the pundits on TV and the politicians in Haganya or Washington, D.C. Climate change is real, and it will affect our lives in very direct ways, as we will deal in the coming years with climate refugees from nearby islands and atolls. 
or as Manyaha, as one fisherman told me, the Manyaha is now coming in in the wrong months, and perhaps the Manyaha will never come again. Climate change is not a matter of faith, it is a matter of physics. It will be up to you, University of Guam graduates, to make the changes. I can live in a world without Sony movies about tyrannical dictators, but I cannot face a future without Manyaha. <laughs> so I'm counting on you graduates to save the Manyaha. We're also concluding the latest worldwide scare, Ebola. When I first heard of it, I thought I'd been dealing with Ebola Bola all my life, <laughs> especially in politics. But someone told me that this was a serious disease of the body and not of the tongue. So again, you OG graduates, we're counting on you to deal with this potential threat to our public health. It will be you as policy makers, as public health workers, as nurses, as future physicians, and perhaps even as researchers in a future laboratory here on campus that will guide our island society through this and other situations that we must confront. So whether it's the threat, meeting the threat of Ebola, or the future of Manyaha, or our cyber future, I will sleep better tonight knowing that we have graduated another 238 talented, beautiful, committed, prepared individuals armed with a UOG diploma, ready to take on the world, not just for themselves, but for their island, their region, and for all humanity. Today we're graduating global citizens. In fact, the valedictorian is from the Czech Republic. We are graduating American citizens. And we are graduating island citizens. This is an important consideration because we live in a very specific place. Although we're not limited to this place, we are grounded in this place. We are in the UOG Calvo Fieldhouse for a reason. We are in Manila for a greater reason. Manila comes from the root word ila, to look with a purpose in mind. Manila is the place from which we can observe, inviting all of us to research and to learn. If I could still climb a coconut tree near the shoreline, I could look for Manyaha or Ii. Manilo to Manyaha. But alas, the Manyaha is now unpredictable and I have great difficulty climbing that tree and the rhino beetles have beaten me there. But locating this center of learning, this educational capital of Micronesia in Manila is perhaps coincidental with its, its tomorrow meaning, but it is a delicious, meaningful coincidence as much of our lives. Here in Manila, we have not only connected to hundreds of islanders today to their island, but in the spirit of Manila, we have given people, these graduates, new eyes, new tools to observe, different ways of apprehending the world around them. So as you graduates contemplate your future, as your past in this institution, as you think about your personal story, and each one of you have a compelling personal story, and I was asked by my uncle to mention one, but I can't because there'll be 237 other people unhappy. Your grandparents, think about your grandparents, think about your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your spouse, your children, or whomever you hold dear. Remember this place. Remember that Manila, what Manila means is a word passed on for generations here in this beautiful island. And always keep UOG close to your heart, graduates. And when required, and when the spirit moves you, 
And when the energy is so overwhelming, we always proudly say, Viva you!